What are these weird, like, bum grapes attached to bog brushes? <laughs> Piles, isn't they? <laughs> what are they? <laughs> They're internal, um, internal homes. If you've like, got a like pist like piston cleaners. Well, uh, bore cleaners. So you've got a bore that's slightly roughed up. Yeah. And you need it deburring at any point. You they look kind of medical, but in a torturous way. Right, come right, on. We're gonna, what are we going right. to do? We're going to shotgun? Yeah, it's the rebound that shat itself, I think. Yeah. yeah. Which basically Where is it? Over here. Yeah. Right, so what, what do we do then? What are we going to do? Let's spring off first, shall we? Okay, yeah. Um, let's see if my, my spring machine is set up for a minute. Let me okay. get a six minute key. Let's see if it's set up for a minute. So what weight spring have we got in here? Well, 10.5. 10.5. 10 Which is quite hard. And is that, is that for fatties? Or? Mm. Well, we can find yeah, out it is it, really, we'll, isn't it? We'll find out in a minute what That's I do. definitely not a standard spring on that, surely. Well, we'll find out in a minute. So I'm assuming there's some sort of valve or something in here that's, that's shattered well, it, itself. Yeah, which is why it's be got something going on, so oil we're everywhere. We're going to have that out. Anyway. So is, is it a valve or do you think it's the um, shims? Um, well, there's an no O-ring on this. Ah, right, okay. So, the O-ring may have gone. It's quite complex, isn't it, going in there? No, not really. It's well, just... not for a man like you. Oh, come on, I better. So, what have we got in there, then? Right, so this is the bit that Alistair was concerned about. I put the needle in there. On the other side, the food is a valve. rubber. Right, okay. So, that's in only. Yeah, it self seals. One way valve. It self seals. This whole thing is just to hold gas. Yeah, between that piston that's in there and that cover that was on there yeah. is where your gas is located. Okay. So what does that gas do? Well, that gas will pressurize this, uh, put pressure against this piston. Yeah. All right. Now, this is full of oil. So what we're going to do is take the oil out of it. Right. Okay. All right. Now, you could strip it down. But you might get oil everywhere. I've got a little machine that sucks it out. I bet you have. Can't go wrong with a bit of sucking. <laughs> right, if I'd have taken this off with the gas pressure still on it, yeah. it would have squirted out the oil at four bar. Right, okay. We'd have, we'd have been... All so oiled up. It's still, it's still coming, it's still going to get a bit of oil out of it. And this oil, it's kind of, it's just the same as fork oil, I assume. So. Uh, no, this is Olean's oil. Okay. But it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. Right, so what we do now is we get another little box there. Okay. And in here Ooh. are some adapters. You alright with the washing up over there, mate? I think so. There's some mugs out the back as well, actually, if you want to give them a go. You're a mug. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Manual labour doesn't make you into a happy bunny, does it? Right, so in here... Is oh, look at this. Mm. Okay, so we've got... Adriani. Yes. They're Italian. Andriani. 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 Yes. Okay. Vacuum pressure oil recovery. Yeah. We want oil recovery, don't we? Okay. Okay. And then we put the vacuum on and it'll suck all the old oil out. Well, isn't that clever? So how much oil would be in there? There's not a lot in there. It's just because most of it's come out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of it's over my most of it's over my rear tire. So what? So the oil loss then is potentially coming from some of the valve, some of those yeah, the so O-rings in here. Yeah, that you've got on there. So now, the oil's out of it. I'm going to put that bung back in there just in case anything. So I'm going to turn this upside down now. A brand new make. Well done. Oh, you've done something should on be, his own. You should be happy. Get a <laughs> you should be happy with yourself. You should be proud of what you've achieved. Um, does does TTX actually mean anything other than just the model demarcation? Twin tube technology. What's X mean though? Technology. Technology. <laughs> no, obviously, yeah. Alistair, would you get me a three millimetre Allen key, please? Sure. On the double, we're losing him. 
Will a tea bar suffice? Yes, it would do, darling. Three mil. Check. So you just wound those off, have you? There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh the release. Oh. So there we are. I okay. Get to, get to that piece now. So, so that was just that was just an extra bit of pressure in there, was yeah, it? Yeah, obviously this valve. It's caught. It's it's, it's causing it's a vacuum. vacuumed inside. Yeah. It's causing us some issues. So there's okay. definitely something going on there. Now we need to find the tool. Okay. That's Lock smart. Up. I love that tool. Look at that. Oh, that is good. All milled, premium. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? I just love it. That wasn't very tight. I was going to say, that shouldn't be that. That wasn't very tight. But this is one of the ones that's... Um, the recoil job, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is our twin tube that you were asking about. Okay. That's one tube. Yeah. Not that. That's something from a fork. That's our second tube. Right. Alright. That's a little piston ring. Understand? Mm -hmm. One it's tube sort of. inside another tube yeah. Yeah. makes it twin tube. tube. Okay, yeah. and the oil is between yeah. the but the, between them. Yeah. Both. So this is your piston, your floating piston, your free piston. Yeah. Okay, can you see the oil sat behind it? Yeah. That that would be full up with oil in that gallery in the twin tube. Okay. Controlled by both your compression and rebound valves. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So we're going to just dump that in Ooh, there. Very nice, isn't it? No, it's pretty old and horrible. Yeah. Like this is what the recall scenario was about. Was whether this spring was being tightened against its collar inside there and mm. we were losing tension on this nut. Alright, so, it? well, we're going to have a go at it now. Right. We're going to do it, see what it's like. You, when you take one of these apart, you then suddenly realise where all the money goes, yeah. don't you? See, yeah, he was alright. He wasn't too bad. Like every one of these bits in here is a precision element. What's the piston? The piston ring. And we all know about rings, don't we? We do. That one looks a little bit. It's a little bit damaged. tattered. It's a little bit torn. I think, I think you go again. I'm going to have a wash of it. And we've got our spring and our cup. Yeah, that's a good fit. So that spring, that's kind of like a bump stoppy type spring, is that it? That is exactly it. You've known oh, it on the head. Oh, look at it. You, you've done your own work, haven't you? Well, it's just common sense, isn't it, really? There you go. That's your seal head. That looks nice, that bit. I like that bit. All right. There's your cover, your bump, and then you're into your shaft. Mm. Okay, so we'll wash this off now. Washing the shaft. Washing the shaft. Now I'll just give that a quick swill out, and then we'll take the valves out, shall we? Let's do it. Let's take them out then. Let's not be afraid of this. Let's get them apart. Alistair, so hopefully you're going to find something that's wrong. palpably wrong with uh, either either of the valves to see it spurting out of the oil, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Oh. It looks like a terrified moon beast. Definitely looks like something out of a kids programme, isn't it? Yeah, like, oh, and but, 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 but someone's put his head in a vice and now he's just terrified that... Oh, he's taking his eye out. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is going to be a screensaver. OK, that's your rebound valve. OK, because it says rebound on it. Yeah. OK. And that'll go to the right, as you look at it. Rebound right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we're always on the right. Yeah. So, okay, because technically it's upside down, therefore it's on the left at the moment. Yeah. yeah. These are your springs. Uh, keep, the right, these springs keep pressure. When this is done up and tight, that keeps pressure on that piston. Yeah. Okay. So when you make your adjustments, be it in or out, and you open the valve, you've got a little valve in there, which is a little needle, 
right, and it adjusts the needle to adjust the flow. Okay. Right, these yep, are just tension. Yep. You can get different spring tensions for different pistons, for diff different valve insets. Really? Yeah, there is a multitude. But that, I mean, we're talking top level racing. Yeah. When, you know, not top level track days. So the beauty yeah. of this system, the TTX system, is over the old 4060 carbon is if you want to make a valve in change, there are no valves inside the, the shock is over itself. These are the valves. So you just whip it out? You just take them out. Obviously uh, not under pressure. What happens if you do that? Well, because the, the piston is under five, six bar of pressure. So what happens if you try to undo it? It just blow out in your face. Will it? You'll be covered like, like a bukkake. So you can actually change it in the middle of a session. Yeah. Oh, he's looking all a bit cross-eyed now, so my, we'll little, my little toy. <laughs> 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 You should be a doctor. Triple Do you know the last time I was violated? Do you remember the last? What? Do you remember the last time you, you get, were truly violated? You get violated all the time. You, no, no. But, I mean, this is a serious question because this what I'm about to say is pretty serious. Okay. Do you remember the last time you were violated? What finger up the body from a docky? So, Thruxton 2011 uh, Superstock thousands, and second corner, the first lap, I came round. Pinned fourth gear, fifth gear, it's 120, 130 miles an hour, and someone came up in front of me and took my wheel out. And that track, I don't know if you know, you know Thruxton, it's like a, like a Sam, it's like a. Um, Super fast, yeah. It's like a um, shell grip. And just ripped my levers open, you know, knee hanging out. Anyway, so the doctors at the circuit transferred me to Salisbury Hospital for plastic surgery because I needed a skin graft. And they said, they there, they were prepared for me. They said, oh, he's a 120 mile an hour crash. They thought I crashed on the road. Mm. So there was a proper trauma team there. There was an eight man trauma team there waiting for me. And I sort of hopped in. <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's a miracle. He's alive. Anyway, they, like Bruce Willis in an Unbreakable. I was waiting there. I'd got a bit of morphine, a bit of gas in there. And I was waiting there. And they said, there'll be a doctor along. Just come along and assess you in a minute. And this doctor came in. He walked in, strolled in, hi, uh, put his gloves on, and he shoved the finger up my ass. Straight in? I said, look, I've walked in here, there's nothing wrong with my... Bottom. Bottom. Or back. <laughs> and he just carried on. At least he put gloves on. And all he did was walk in that room and think of my bum. <laughs> and... and now you just can't get it out of your head. It is nice kit. It's got to be said. It is nice it kit. Is, it is. Rough. All this top. Of, see the difference. Well, it's an engineer's delight, basically, isn't it? I mean, that's that's the difference. Like if we take that stocker apart, that's in the Honda at the moment. It won't be nothing it'll be, like it'll this. It'll be like cast, rough. Be cast. This this will be smooth, but it'll be cast. It's not yeah. smooth. Yeah. You know, certain microns of finishing and so forth. You know, this is just beautiful. But all this can be taken apart. We can take that off of there. We can take this off of here. We can take these out of here. Break it all down. You don't need to as part of a service. So is this what we're doing now? A effectively a standard service yeah. type investigation. Re-oil, re re-gas. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Make sure there's nothing new. You've got to have a bit of tolerance and, and a little bit of wear. But standard stuff. And what would this normally retail at, this, this service? 120 plus VAT. And what would uh, how, and what every year you should get this done really if you if you're well, if fairly you, competitive if you're doing what I don't know fifteen track days a year. Well, I'd say get it done at the end of every season or the start of a season. Yeah. But if you're on your road ride or, yeah. or the occasional track day, every two years. Yeah. Okay. So it's not too much of a but cost. But people don't, do they? they no. Don't even service their standards. No. I mean, I, I, this is the first time this has been a part in what? How long have I had it? Four years. Yeah. So no wonder it's all manky. I think you might have something wrong with you. Ah, okay, back to the job. Look at this, this all looks very good. We ran up for a tea break and then came back and you've done all this. It's like a so, doctor's surgery, isn't it? No, not really, just a bit clean. A bit well, in Sierra Leone. But, <sighs> that is so wrong. <laughs> what was that story you were telling earlier, Al? <laughs> Don't remind him. Pensive. Okay. It does look a bit bloody. Ooh. 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 Jammy. So what's that talk? Eight. 
No, that's torch at 12 pound foot. So you're winding them all the way in? No, all the way out. out. I'm opening them up because obviously we're going to fill this with oil in a minute. Okay. And we're done. So that allows all the oil to get to all the right places? Yeah. Right, so now we need to put this in mm -hmm. right, with our secondary tube, which is in the bath, which Alistair is... Stopped cleaning. I'm going to get some of this red grease. It's lush, isn't it? You can actually put it, it on at it... Halloween as well. It looks, it does look quite edible though, that's the only, my only concern. Oh, mm. lovely, didn't it? That went on lovely, didn't it? Lovely. That did go in very, very nice, didn't it? You can now put that in. So we're pretty sure there's nothing bent inside there. No, it's just... Like peach then, isn't it? That's gone in beautifully, isn't it? We can use our special tool. That's it? No! Oh no, of course not. We've yeah. got to put our piston in. Yeah. Well, it's our free piston. Piston ring out again, which is expanded out, so we just scroll it back up. There's no real damage on it. Because this is sloping up and down, put a little bit of the old... Um, bit of clara on there. Is this going to be satisfying for you, pushing that in? Oh, just... Oh, that's in. Right. So what I'm going to do now is connect it up to the wall. Okay. But in order to fill it properly, we stretch it. We've got a, a shock stretcher, not a cock stretcher. Could it work with the other? I suppose it could do if you wanted to put the time into it. It does look oh, like an awesome so, okay. gun. So it, it, when you say stretcher, it's not like a, it, it, it's a stretcher, but it's not like a for, forced type. No, 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 all I'm doing is stretching yeah. the shocker, compressing that spring inside. Yeah. Okay, so when we fill it with oil now, there's no areas that are mm -hmm. going to cause us any problems. Clever. God, it's a lot of work, isn't it? So we're sucking the air out. Suck all the air out of it. Right. So a vacuum, full vacuum. on vacuum. Yeah, this will get sucked in in a minute. Will it make a loud scary noise? No, it just disappeared down in the next Right. So he's vacuumed there, now what I'm going to do is put some oil into him. Okay, it's quite handy that you can just use the same... Same machine. Same machine. So that's already pre-filled with oil. Oh yeah. Back at the factory they got fully automated machines that blow it in and out and suck it and blow it and twist it and turn it. Sounds amazing. It is, it's just phenomenal. Now we're ready to fill it with gas. Simples. I'm happy. You? I'm happy. Yeah. I'm over the moon. What's the gas pressure? Six bar. Six bar. Six bar, sir. Six bar. I said it first. Please, sir. My dad's got a seven bar. Can I get in there? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I've got to let the gas out of it all. Nice. I mean, kids are paying a lot of this, lot of money for this stuff, aren't they? Nitrogen. Yeah. No, that. Uh, that's nitrous oxide. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, yeah. It does the same thing there, surely? No, it doesn't. No, matter. nitrogen will kill you in seconds. No. Yeah. Get Nitrous oxide just carries oxygen. Yeah. That's what makes That's the head go all fizzy fuzzy, isn't it? Because mm. yeah. you're having too much oxygen. Mm. In here now, we've got... Have you got any nitrous oxide? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. yeah? Should we do some? We've got 16 bar in here at the moment. Okay. It's slightly too much. 16 bar. Okay. So we that little... <laughs> yeah. Right, so I need to get this off. 16 bar, oh, okay, I'm thinking PSI, yeah, bar, that's, that's highly... That's highly illegal. ...charged. Yeah. yeah. So what happens if we're going to blow up here? Yeah, I'm moving out of the way. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, no, that's 
Ooh. That's hard to get right, isn't it? Well, you, it's like the fuel station game, isn't it? You've only really got ten pound. You got to nine ninety nine. Ooh, ten pound. Ooh. One p over. There we go. Yeah, six. Ooh. Jizzy. Nice. The pressure behind here seals that rubber up. So yeah. spring on. That's, well, that's job it. done then. That's it. Job jobs are good. Then. That's it. So she's primed then. She's ready to mm, sheath that. I'll just put that little spring baby on there. That good as new. Good as new. Oh, oh. dropped in. <laughs> right, let's get it back in. Get it right back in, lad. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this puppy back in. See if we can be super efficient this time. So we know what to do now, don't we? <coughs> Theoretically, we know we... the linkage has got to come out. Yeah. So. We've got the tools ready. We don't need the tools at the moment. <laughs> We've got two massive ones right here. Mm. 